Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 50-year-old female who has soft tissue fullness in her plantar foot and also some pain. And this is an MRI, a T1 weighted sequence, and things look pretty good, except for there is some fullness. It blends right with the muscles. It looks like the muscles are prominent. But if we put up a T2 fat spread sequence, we can see here that it is really not the muscles. It's an infiltrative process here that's surrounding the plantar fascia deep to the plantar fascia surrounding the flexor tendons here and it's just similar in signal to the muscles and this is what we call plantar fibromatosis it's a fibroblastic process it's infiltrative sometimes very extensive like this usually is in the central and medial portions of the fascia in this case it's very extensive it comes back here approximately goes up along the course of the medial tendons and this is a good example because it's right in the classic location of the central part and also the medial part and it does go into the soft tissues and that's another thing that it can do. It's a surrounding the fascia and flexor tendons here and then it can also go off into the soft tissues and the subcutaneous soft tissues usually medially just like this. So this can be painful when they walk on it because it's extra mass effect and so the treatment for this is um, they try steroids at first in physical therapy, if that doesn't work, they go on to radiation therapy, and that's usually successful. But if it does not work as a last resort, they'll try to do surgery with really wide, res uh, wide resection margins because uh, it can, can um, it can recur, or very commonly recurs. And sometimes when it recurs, it can uh, come back even worse than before if you do to do a localized re um, resection. It may come back more aggressively. So when they do the surgery, they have to do a wide resection and try to get the margins. But even then, it can come back. So they usually try steroids and a conservative treatment like a radiation therapy instead. And uh, this is different than the one in the palm. There's one in the palm called plantar fibromatosis. You get this Dupuytren's contracture. And that one is more of a uh, fibrous reaction where you get contraction of the uh, fingers. This is more of a fibroblastic process and it surrounds and causes mass effect when you put weight on it, it causes pain and pressure, but it doesn't have that contracture like in the hands, and so it's a different uh, animal. Now this is usually seen in people who are over 30 years old, females more common than males, and they say it can be associated with diabetes, epilepsy, liver disease, smoking, alcohol, trauma, it can even be hereditary. And the name sounds like plantar fibroma, but this is called plantar fibromatosis, which again, fibromatosis is a diffuse infiltrative process like, process like this. A plantar fibroma is a localized process, so a plantar fibroma could be within the plantar fascia, usually it's right within the plantar fascia, you get a nodular enlargement in the intermediate T1 signal, and then again, this is a plantar fibromatosis, which is another uh, on the other end of the spectrum, where you have a diffuse process just like this, rather than a localized process like a fibroma. And that's it. Thank you very much.